Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator with Empowerment Nursing. Welcome to this week's application of In the Know, where this week we are applying troubleshooting chest tubes. If you didn't happen to catch our Facebook Live, please pause this and go back to our Facebook Live where we do a whole mind map on troubleshooting chest tubes to help you get to the correct answer on your registration exam. So please do check that out. And participate in this question by commenting what your answer would be below and you can read the dialogue on top of this video. So here's our question for this week. The nurse is assessing a patient following a chest tube insertion. On assessment, the nurse notes there's 50 mils of serosanguinous fluid, serosanguinous fluid in the drainage chamber, fluctuation of water in the seal chamber when the patient breathes in and out, and bubbling in the suction control chamber. Which of the following is the most appropriate nursing intervention? Our options are A, document your findings as normal, B, assess for an air leak due to bubbling noted in the suction chamber, C, notify the physician about the drainage, and D, milk the tubing to ensure patency of the tubes. So let's go back to our question. The nurse notes there's 50 mils of serosanguinous fluid in the drainage chamber. Is that normal or abnormal? 50 mils, no big deal, that is normal. Fluctuation of water in the water seal chamber when the patient breathes in and out. Is that normal or abnormal? That is normal. It's also called titling and that would be an expected finding. And bubbling in the suction control chamber, that is also normal. You would expect to find continuous bubbling in the suction control chamber. The only time continuous bubbling is a problem is if it happens in the water seal chamber. So you would document these findings as normal. You wouldn't assess for an air leak due to the bubbling in the suction chamber because it's normal. You wouldn't notify the physician about drainage because 50 mils is expected. And you would never, ever, ever milk the tubes. Never milk tubes. It's never going to be the correct answer on your registration exam. So thank you so much for joining me on this week's In the Know. And we will see you next time um, with Empowerment Nursing. Bye for now.